time of our managers, time of our employees, time of for HR administrators. How to do that? What uh, the employee central functionality is going to, it provides you the time administrators. This is one of the most, most important role because, because there are a lot of things that, you know, the HR administrator can manage the functionalities as a HR administrator. So who is the HR administrator here, for example, Charles Brown as an example. Okay. Now, when you actually act as a proxy, maybe I'm going to click on a proxy. Okay. Click on OK. So go to the employee files on the people profile click on a time now when you come to this okay not this one moment click on uh, this one go to employee file without acting as a proxy now simply select here from the drop down So as an example here, I am taking as a Charles Brown, go to time. Now you can see on the, in this particular area, you see it as an administer time. It was before go to time off, but now it is showing as a administer time, HR administrator. What HR admin can do as of, uh, as for the time off functionalities. So I'm going to click on here, administer time. You know, for example, you are, you can configure the time data for the newly hired employees. Even on behalf of employee, the HR administrator can enter the absence request for an employee. He can adjust the time accounts. He can run the time accurals automatically, manual adjustments. So for example, as, a, as an HR administrator on behalf of employee, now you can request a leave, you see. He can do that and you can see all the absences that are going to be listed here. For example, all the time account information, see all the I'm sorry and you can see here the time accounts what's happening okay one moment let me come back I need to switch off something right so you, you can see here uh, on the vac vacation time account you have here vacation so how many days you are having here for the current year 2023 six days are available and you have for uh, 2022, 24 days leaves are available. So carry forward, you know, there are 30 leaves you have all together. And you can see, and there are some time accounts also can be closed when they are completely not in use actually. So when you click on this uh, and automatically you will be able to see the, the overview. Oh, sound is coming the account information and you can see the time account type and you are going to learn about it the type of uh, time account is triggering account validity the bookable period and uh, from which period to which period the frequency is like a monthly annually or quarterly or whatever it is so for this particular time account do you have any past postings or do you have any future postings you can see everything all the details on this particular area maybe something is not 
you know when employees requesting a leave uh, maybe something is not getting detected or maybe not uh, you know something is not added so manual adjustments also can do it by clicking on this like you have a additional adding or detecting the days amount in days how many days you want to detect how many days you want to can it did you know add you know when it is not detecting or when it is not adding the manual adjustment also the hr administrator can do it here and you know like you have anything like a payout any of the time accounts that you are request uh, requesting and uh, you can see it here the the rate the standard rate or custom rate and all the other things that also can be done so like you have uh, if there is any time account payouts time purchases that you are going to purchase work schedules like you have a temporary work schedules uh, you know individual work schedules a lot of different types you have it and the time collectors and time alerts so you are see the lot of things a lot of things the hr administrator can do it so that means the hr administrator can enter the absence request for employees and he can run the time accounts or uh, you know and he can generate or manual adjustments or uh, he can uh, do the recalculations so it's very simple that he will get complete uh, the overview of uh, you know the time of request and the time account details and uh, for everyone and you can make a manual adjustments for a time account and you can also manage you know like uh, the accrual creations period and the processing and uh, there are a lot of things subsequently in the upcoming classes i am going to explain everything step by step so did you all understand the time off time off for employees time off for uh, hr administrators and time off for managers and these are the three people you see that the time off is going to be experienced at the end of the day right so now let us understand how time off works see every company or every client or maybe some uh, you know international companies from country to country or companies to company the time requirement may differ it may, it is not same maybe different holidays in india we have a different holidays in usa you have a different holidays so how the time it works it supports and do we have a flexibility associated with the time of functionalities yes absolutely employee central time off provides you the flexibility that may be country specific client specific time off is a client specific country specific even employee specific because you know one thing you know that many people are not aware the time of functionality you know what it is individual work schedules are also supports so you have a one work schedule that is applicable for a group of employees in the company but i want to have my own individual work schedule maybe it may be new for many but it is there for a, from the beginning so if you want to know how time of works how the time of works when there is a data that is maintained in the job information portal in the job information portal and there is a time information section and when there is a time data maintained then only the time of is going to work there are four fields that we need that needs to be maintained so that each employee can use time off what are those fields 
what are those four fields holiday calendar what is this holiday calendar does it ensures that maybe country or maybe region specific public holidays for the particular respective employee is eligible to request or maybe eligible or considered to have a public holiday work schedule nothing but a shift patterns the working patterns of the client employees that needs to be defined in the work schedule and needs to be assigned to the employee when a person is being hired that means like how many hours the employee is going to work each day which days of the week uh, the employee does work that needs to be calculated that needs to be maintained and created and assign it to the employee very important thing actually next another field that we need to maintain is a time profile this field it allows you to specify the time types time type means leave types some people they always compare na in sap point of view absence types absence type absence type absence quota here time types leave types nothing but like a absence type in sap sick leave casual leave what whatever you have so the time profile allows you to group that means time profile allows you that which leaves the leave type the employee eligible eligible or entitled to have all those time types are going to be grouped like a one group that 